in this video, we'll do an example involving the fixed points of an ordinary differential equation, or ODE, for short. We'll learn more about fixed points and ODEs later, but in a nutshell, the fixed point of an ODE is its steady state value. The solutions to some ODEs stabilize to a specific value over time. That value is called the fixed point. Mathematically, we find the fixed points by finding the roots of the ODE. This is because a steady state value, by definition, does not change over time, so the derivative term becomes zero. For this specific ODE, we can set the dx dt term to zero, but we can't explicitly write an equation in terms of x to obtain the fixed points. Actually, there's one fixed point we can find immediately, and that's when x equals zero. When x equals zero, both e to the x and cosine x equal one, so this entire expression becomes zero. We should expect to obtain x equals zero numerically. But for the other fixed points, we have to use a numerical method. We can use any root finding method in practice, but let's use the newton raphson method and iterate until the percent relative error falls under 1e-4 e or until we hit 50 iterations. As always, the first step in any root finding problem is to plot the function, so let's turn to MATLAB. I'm going to define an anonymous function for the ODE. We also need a second anonymous function to represent its derivative, which in this case actually represents the derivative of dx dt, or d squared x over dt squared. The derivative of the function is easy enough to compute by hand. You can verify it if you want. It's kind of hard to tell from the plot, but it looks like we have three roots. One of them should be at x equals zero, like we anticipated. Upon zooming in, it does look like there's a root exactly at x equals zero. The other looks to be around x equals negative 1.5. It seems that the root occurs around x equals negative 1.3, so we can probably use x naught equals negative 1.5 as our initial guess for this root. The last root appears to be around x equals negative 5. A closer look reveals the root around x equals negative 4.7-ish. So, there are three roots between positive and negative 5. Let's see if we can calculate the roots one by one using the custom newton raphson function I wrote in a previous video, which you can find in the link in the video description. I set parameters for the stopping criterion and the max number of iterations, and called the function I wrote in the previous video. Hopefully, we won't be iterating anywhere close to 50 times, because the initial guesses we elicited from the plot reside very close to the roots. Sure enough, we converged on the root at x equals negative 4.7-ish when we supplied an initial guess of x naught equals negative 5. We got there in only three iterations. Let's change x0 to negative 1.5 and see if we can get the second root. Once again, we got the value we anticipated and we can corroborate that with the plot. Finally, we analytically determined that the last fixed point in this interval resides at x equals zero. Let's see if we can numerically confirm that. I'll use an initial guess of x0 equals one. and we've obtained the root at x equals zero. It took a few more iterations than the other roots, but that's most likely because I chose an initial guess that was further away from the rest. This concludes the fixed points of an ODE problem. Although very quick, I hope this problem reinforced the concepts of plotting to get your initial guesses and how to call the custom function I wrote to estimate the roots of a function. See you next time.